Hi guys, welcome back to a new Masters of the Universe review. Today we are going to have a look at Rebel Leader He-Man from the Masters of the Universe movie from 1987. So um, this figure came out a couple of weeks ago, mine just arrived two days ago, um, and it came in this uh, brown shipper box, the usual box that um, these figures come in. There's some information on the back there if anyone wants to read that you can but if we move that away here is He-Man himself so um, he's not actually headless it's just that he's so tall his head is hidden behind the, the logo of the packaging but the packaging is just the standard Masters of the Universe Classics um, box uh, there is some art on the back there and again some figures that uh, Super 7 have also released that's the rest of the um, William Stout collection along the top there and the Club Grey Skull along the bottom. Uh, he also has a bio if you would like to pause that and have a read please feel free. Um, but let's go ahead and get him off the card because I am too excited to have a look at this guy. And here is He-Man off the card. So as you can see he's super impressive. Um, articulation wise he just has the standard classic so ankle, knee, hip, uh, waist, ab crunch, uh, shoulder, bicep, elbow, wrist, and his head articulation is up, down, to the side. Uh, his mullet kind of hits his armor there a little bit, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, as you can see, he's really quite tall. He has a lot of new parts, so I'm not sure if they based his height on um, Dolph, who is quite tall, um, or if they just you know, it, it, he just ended up being taller because of these extra parts that they had to sculpt and they kind of lost sight of his height. But um, here he is next to regular He-Man, so if you put them back to back you can see that there's at least half a head of difference. Um, and actually while I've got them here, uh, one thing that is really cool is that you can actually swap his head. And the skin tone is actually pretty um, accurate. So you can swap their heads without sort of too much um, uh, difference in skin tone if uh, that's what you're into. But um, anyway, I'll put it back and so we'll have a look at his accessories actually. So he comes with two heads, as you can see. We've got this head that came on him and a spare head. This head's a lot angrier, um, but it's kind of the same facial features I think and it's the same hair sculpt. Uh, so I'll probably just keep this one because I like this one on him a bit better. So we pop that back on. Um, and as for weapons, we have his power sword that he uses in the movie. Very cool. He also has this little knife that is kind of designed to look like uh, his vintage power sword, which is a nice touch. He comes with this blaster that he uses also in the movie and a little knife that fits into his boot that at the start of the movie he throws that at one of the troopers um, before they end up uh, in Castle Greyskull. Uh, he throws that at one of the troopers in the uh, desert battle. Uh, also, uh, it's worth noting that this gun that comes with Queen Marlena is from the movie. So uh, He-Man does actually use one of these guns in the movie. So if you have Queen Marlena, you can also repurpose this gun for He-Man. Uh, now looking at his uh, details on the back, he has a sword holster, again just like the movie. You can pop the sword down his cape and plug it into the bottom of the holster. And then at the top here there is this little um, plastic clip that just hooks around uh, the handle and it holds it perfectly. Really, really securely, really good. I do love this cloth cape. I wish that there were more cloth capes in um, classics. I think that they sit a lot better um, and they allow for better movement and sitting in vehicles, that kind of stuff. I've given a few characters um, cloth capes. I've given Shira a cloth cape so she can fit on Swiftwind without um, you know her head being forced forward. Um, there you go. There's He-Man and Shira. Um, but I think. That's about it guys, I, I can't think of anything else I wanted to talk about here, so stick around and I will post some photos. Thanks for watching.